In the series, Magnificent Century, there were many scenes and moments worthy of mention and which were remembered by the audience for their intensity of passions and various conflicts. It is believed that Sultan Suleiman loved only one harem, but he did not disdain to look at other women either. Harem, of course, did not like it very much, because she wanted to be the one and only for her husband. But what could she do? According to Islamic customs, a Muslim could have up to four wives and many concubines. And the Sultan's harems sometimes numbered several hundred women who dreamed of attracting the attention of the ruler. So the competition there was very tough. But because Harem was a strong personality, she could hide her emotions so as not to displease or anger the Sultan. Those concubines who dared to take a fancy to the Lord, in the future, an unenviable fate awaited them. Harem got rid of the pretenders to the Sultan's heart without pity. But one day a beautiful woman appeared in Istanbul. She was a Castilian princess captured at sea by pirates and brought to the Sultan's court. She was young, beautiful, with a daring personality and an unusual outlook on the world. Suleiman was not used to such women, all his concubines and wives had to be a model of modesty and obedience. Therefore, it is not surprising that such a girl immediately attracted the Sultan's attention. Knowing full well that such a hostage of noble blood could be a good argument for political games, Suleiman was in no hurry to send Princess Isabella home. Besides, he felt attracted to her as a woman and wanted to get her as a trophy. Only Isabella herself considered the Sultan a wild and uneducated barbarian and did not respond to his feelings in any way. After some time, after living next to the Sultan, the princess changed her mind. She even began to like the ruler. In addition, Harem aggravated the situation with her constant attacks and jealousy, so Isabella decided to conquer Suleiman only out of sporting interest. As a particularly important person, she was placed in the palace of Hatije Sultan, Suleiman's sister. Sometimes Suleiman visited the beautiful captive, and their mutual sympathy grew. And one day he went to visit his sister, wanting to know about the well-being of his beloved Isabella. But when the Sultan came to Hatia, he saw his Haseki, Harem Sultan, there. Shortly before the Sultan's arrival, Harem herself came to visit the Sultan's sister saying that she had come to visit the little son of Hatije and Ibrahim. But in fact, she wanted to figure out the relationship with Isabella and scare her once again. And then, in the midst of a showdown with a rival, Harem suddenly finds out about the Sultan's visit. Of course, pretending that nothing had happened, Harem hurried to greet the Lord with a smile, wondering about the reason for his arrival. The presence of his wife did not please Suleiman, but he did not expel her. To smooth out the tense moment, Hatije invited everyone present to honor them and have lunch with her and her husband. Suleiman immediately realized that Harem was also here for a reason, and decided to teach the jealous Haseki a lesson. As is clearly seen in the series, this has happened more than once. The Sultan seemed to deliberately provoke his women into scandals and quarrels, paying attention first to one, and then confessing his love to the other. It is quite possible that he was flattering his male ego with such actions, making women jealous of each other. During dinner, Isabella joined the family celebration with the most casual air. Smiling and flirting with the beautiful Castilian princess, Suleiman perfectly saw how offended and humiliated by his behavior Harem was and simply enjoyed his power over this woman. Thus, the Sultan made it clear to the ladies present that only he decides which lucky woman he will make a favorite and that the fate of these women depends only on his decision. And immediately, switching to Harem, he takes her hand and tells Isabella that Harem is his Haseki and the mother of his sons. At this moment, the princess herself feels rage and resentment that Suleiman is so demonstratively showing his feelings for Harem. Here it is worth paying attention to the expression of the Sultan's face. He simply enjoyed his position as master and master, but both women who had feelings for him were humiliated and insulted. But due to tradition, both of them had to silently swallow their resentment and continue the conversation as if nothing had happened. It was safer, of course, not to openly show his jealousy and humiliation, because the Sultan could get angry and punish both his beloved Haseki and the beautiful captive. Despite the humiliation that Harem suffered through her husband's fault, she still loved him madly and was able to forgive him later. But she decided to eliminate the rival, because of whom there were such unpleasant moments in her life. 
Moreover, knowing the Sultan well, Haseki understood that he hardly had real feelings for Isabella. Rather, he just wanted to amuse his male ego and get the princess as a war trophy. Harem was a very extraordinary person and had a strong nature, so she solved the issue with the Castilian princess radically. Knowing that if the princess stayed in Istanbul even longer, then one day the Sultan would be able to drag her into his bed, Harem got a formidable rival in the fight for the Sultan. Therefore, Hiseki arranged for Isabella's alleged escape from the Hatije palace, but in fact she simply gave the order to kill her rival. The beautiful princess Isabella was drowned in the Bosphorus. But everyone else, including the Sultan himself, decided that the prisoner herself had escaped from the palace, and since she did not know the area well, she did not calculate her strength and died on the way. It is likely that the Sultan regretted the loss of Isabella because he never managed to seduce the young beauty. But there was one undoubted advantage in this situation for Suleiman. By pitting Harem and Isabella against each other and making them both jealous, the Sultan made it clear to Harem that her power over him was not unlimited. With this behavior, Suleiman punished his Haseki for trying to influence his decisions in government. But since the Sultan was a man and a ruler, he should have had the last word.